What's up guys, Nerfs and Pizza, I'm back bringing you guys another Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary and today what you guys are watching is a really nice 33 gun streak with the foul, playing some multi-team hardpoint against a full party and in this gameplay I end up going 48-3 and three using the Stealth Chopper, VSAT and Escort Drone and this is actually my first nuclear with the foul believe it or not and uh, you know I haven't really used the foul that much but I knew it was such a beast gun and You'll see in this gameplay, I absolutely just destroyed. Like, uh, it's as simple as that. And, uh, you know, just to clarify, this full party was not very good. Like, they all had like 0 0.7, 0 0.6 KD, so they're definitely not really good. And uh, you'll see me absolutely destroy a kid when I get like two off my nuclear. You guys will see if you stick around. And today, what I'll be talking about is Black Ops 2 vs. Call of Duty Ghost. Now, this is a widely uh, widely talked about comment commentary should I say and uh, you know I have a couple opinions on it I'll be bringing you guys or breaking it down for you guys the different parts uh, I think I have the maps the guns the kill streaks and the features overall features of the game so let's start off with the guns and the slash gun balance and for Black Ops 2, the guns, I really like them, you know, there's a big variety, you know, you can really tell the difference between SMG and Assault Rifle, you know, and SMGs were actually really strong, uh, they actually had to nerf them early into the game because they were actually, like, PDW, everyone was using that gun, MSMC, you know, and then they have, uh, I like how they have the Assault Rifles with the three round burst and all that. And yeah, so the gun balance is really good. Just a couple overpowered weapons like the M8A1 and the Foul. But other than that, really good gun balance for Black Ops 2. And uh, Call of Duty Ghost, there is the Marksman Rifles, which they added, which is basically the uh, one, the burst, the, not the burst, the one, the semi automatic. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Semi automatic ass assault rifles slash SMG sort of things. And, uh, you know, I really like the um, assault rifles in Call of Duty Ghost. I mean, that's what pretty much everyone uses. Some of because SMGs aren't the best. You know, they did get a buff, but still, they aren't the best SMGs that are out there. Uh, simply for their aiming, I think. I, I can't really seem to aim well with them. So, for this category, I'm saying Black Ops 2 goes ahead with that one for the gun mods. Next, we have the maps. Maps, definitely Black Ops 2 wins this one, you know. Call of Duty Ghost has a couple good maps. I like Freefall, Strike Zone, Tremor, uh, Freight, and yeah, those are the only pretty good maps if I, from the top of my head that I can think of. And in Black Ops 2, I almost like every single map in the game. You know, there's only a couple maps that I don't like, and that would have to be Turbine and maybe Aftermath. You know, those maps just uh, a bit too big. So, Black Ops 2 goes for the maps. Next, we're going to be talking about the kill streaks. Now, the kill streaks in Black Ops 2, I really like them. You know, they had the swarm, they had the dogs, they had the EMP system. You know, you could have support, you could have support streaks and assault at the same time. You know, it was really good. In Call of Duty Ghost, they broke it down into assault, support, and specialist, like you guys already know. And specialist, that's really fun to use. Um, support, they did a pretty good job on it. You know, some of the things are a bit overpowered. And the assault in this game, not that good. I mean, the number one kill streak in this game is the Loki, and you have to get 15 kill streak to get it, and it's not even that good. I mean, like I've used it a couple times now, and let me just say it's extremely hard to use, and uh, it's pretty powerful, but extremely hard to use. So Black Ops 2 gets the advantage for kill streaks, and um, for the Chem Strike, that's a really good feature, obviously, in Call of Duty Ghost. That's a lot better to have a Chem Strike, which you actually can call in instead of Black Ops 2 with just the nuclear metal popping up on your screen, obviously. And the final thing we have is the features. Now, what I mean by features is just the overall feel of the game and also some other stuff along those lines. So, for Call of Duty Ghost, we have Extinction, and I think Extinction is a really good addition, you know. Coming out with the next Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, nobody knows what they're going to do. Extinction or Zombies, and, you know, they're both great, so I have to say it's about a tie for that one. And, uh, you know, the overall feel of both games, I like them both. I mean, uh, you know, Black Ops 2 is a bit funner to play simply for the fact of the kill streaks and, uh, 
that and the maps that that's really what makes me want to play Black Ops 2 a bit more but you know I'm gonna go back to Ghost and keep trying to get the double chem strike for you guys I will get it believe it or not and yeah so that's pretty much all about this commentary I have to say Black Ops 2 wins like I said just for the fact of the kill streaks and the maps but yeah it's pretty close I like them both and um, yeah stay so if you're still watching to this point comment down below hashtag montage because it is finally coming out this Sunday I think I might have time to do a, the Q&A on Wednesday so stick around for that and thank you guys for watching once again and I'll see you guys later please drop a like and a comment I'm out peace